Serbia is sending Teja Dora and Ramonda to Eurovision 2024, but will Serbia be Ser Best? Let's review Eurovision. <laughs> So Serbia is sending Teja Dora to Eurovision this year. Now, last year they finished bottom five. So they're going to be hoping to not be repeating that um, with this year's entry. So let's have a little listen. So that was Serbia's entry for this year. What do you make of it? So I, I think, as we've been saying in our reviews of Sweden and Italy, I think we hold them to higher standards just because they're very, very good at Eurovision. And I think when it comes to ballads, Serbia is like the queen of Eurovision ballads. Like they know what they're doing. They've got the best record of any country at sending ballads. Like they're, it's an incredible track record. And I, I just don't, I think this honestly feels like woefully short of what they have been sending before. Um, and I, for a very, very valid reason. I mean, if you look at Serbia's track records with sending ballads, um, 2012, Nia um, you know, 2008, Oro, 2004, Lane Moje, 2007, Molitva. I mean, these are all beautiful, beautiful songs. And it's not just limited to Serbia. You've got Adio from Montenegro. You've got Leila from Bosnia and Herzegovina. There are so many beautiful Balkan ballads that are sung in their native language. It's not like language is the barrier here. And what unites, I think, all of those songs is even though they're in a, a language that I don't speak, and don't get me wrong, I do understand what Ramunda is about. Even though the, the, the others are not in a language are in a language that I don't speak, I still feel something. They are they build nicely. There's nice instrumentals, and then by the last minute, it all comes together, and I leave. Actually, I I feel stirred, like roused by these songs. Like they actually they do make you feel something, and that's it bypasses language. It transcends borders, and ultimately, that's what Eurovision is all about. It's about opening yourself up to new things, new genres of music, new songs, and they are all very successful at doing that. And but this doesn't do that for me i don't feel stirred at all it's kind of as soon as the first note kicks in it's like ugh. you know what i mean it just feels quite mopey and it's i i get that the subject matter is not all you know happy clappy it is a song about how bad the state of things are it's not a great world but then it, it does end on a an optimistic note of like through the ashes there are still these sort of beautiful purple flowers you know rise like a phoenix sort of thing things can come out of out of bad stuff there it, it is a level of optimism at the end but i just i don't think it, i don't feel roused i don't feel stirred i don't just feel it the whole three minutes just feels like Ugh. and i i kind of i don't really have time for it you know, I don't, I kind of don't, I, if you're telling me that there is a bit of optimism, there's a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, make me feel that. And this doesn't. And I just, I just don't think it works, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, I, I get that there are a lot of people who are big, big fans of this, but I just, I don't feel anything. And that's the problem. I, and if this were doing its job properly, I would be feel roused, I feel stirred, and I'm just not. Yeah, I know what you mean when you kind of you compare it to other to previous Serbian ballads. You know, Molotva is so rousing, and it just you could nothing kind of tops that as as ballads go at Eurovision, as far as I'm concerned. So this, it's a bit kind of, it's a bit almost kind of Billie Eilish type. I, for me, it bothers me less that it doesn't rouse me than it does for you I find it quite kind of calming and a bit serene and it's just quite kind of nice to listen to but I think to do kind of well at Eurovision it needs to be more striking basically and it, it needs to feel like it goes somewhere and I think the chorus 
in that respect leaves kind of quite a bit to be desired it feels like it should build towards something and it kind of it's all a bit kind of one level for me which is which is a shame because yeah like we've said Serbia knows how to do a ballad really well and I think almost if it didn't have that reputation I'd probably feel a bit differently about it and that I wouldn't be sitting here comparing it to previous centuries but because we know what they can do we get this and we go oh it's it's okay but it's it's not wowing me basically um so yeah um now it's going in semi-final one it's going second that kind of cursed cursed spot um but do you think it's going through to the final and what would you rank it oh well is it going to go through I, I honestly I'm, i i think this might struggle um if it was a bit later it might go through but i think this this falls into a very similar space as portugal this year and if you've seen our Portugal video, I think we're both equally lukewarm about that. Um, and I just think, you know, if this is going second and Portugal's going 14th, I kind of, if, if they're, I think they're competing for the same audience and people are just going to remember that because it's later. And I don't think this, this is substantially better enough to overcome the running order deficit. So I can see this unless there's some pretty magnificent staging i can i really can see this being forgotten um so i mean i i would not be surprised if it goes through but if you're asking me right now to name the 10 songs that i think will qualify i don't think this is one of them um if it does get through i can see the jury's really going for this and i can see it being sort of quite clearly in the jury's top 10 but again it's a question of our audience is really going to be roused or feel anything by it. And I'm not sure that they will. So I don't see this being, if, if it does qualify, I don't see this being another bottom five in the final, but it's certainly on the right-hand side of the board, I think. Maybe near, maybe near the top. Um, this is It's not Serbia's best. Uh, I'm going to give this purely because I, I just, it doesn't leave me feeling anything. And I think it, as you say, it does leave quite a lot to be desired. I'm unfortunately going to give this just a four um, because I just don't think, if the song were doing its job, I would be feeling something, and I'm not. End of. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in complete agreement on all the, all the will it make it through to the final stuff. It is one of those where, because of where it's going in the running order, it could just get forgotten, and l ballads later on in the in the show would would be if someone's looking for a ballad, they're going to remember the ones they see later on, basically. Um, but it is it is a kind of jury friendly song. So if it goes through to the final, yeah, I can completely see the juries liking it. I'm gonna be slightly more generous than you. I'm gonna give it a six. Um but yeah. So a six plus four, a ten out of twenty overall. So not a not a brilliant score for Serbia. It's certainly towards you know, the lower end of our rankings for all this year. We are nearly through our reviews. There's not very many more to go. If you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll get notified for all of the remaining videos of this season. You can also, while you're here, watch all of our previous reviews, not only for this year, but every you know, the past three Eurovisions as well. We've got loads of stuff for you to watch. Uh, we're also in podcast form. Give us a listen there wherever you get your podcasts. And if that's not all, on Instagram, at Review Revision. Give us a listen, give us a like and a follow there, do what you want. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>